Man is inquisitive. It is he who has created this technological world in which we live by generating new knowledge to create new advances. All information embodies the heritage of man's knowledge. It is a resource for the work of mankind. Scientific information is a cumulative resource. Knowledge builds on knowledge as new findings are reported. It is an international resource built painstakingly by scientists of all countries without regard to race, language, color, religion, or political persuasion. It is built internationally and is used internationally. A tide of information is swamping mankind as knowledge follows upon knowledge in never-ending succession. This tide is sweeping across continent after continent, engulfing the Earth itself as it reaches out towards the moon and even further into space. Millions of items of information are circulating around us and directly or indirectly affect our lives and those of generations to come. In 1939, the number of papers that dealt with nuclear energy was below 1,000. In 1971, it exceeded 1 million. The International Atomic Energy Agency was established in 1957 and set up its headquarters in Vienna, Austria. One of its prime functions is to encourage the exchange of information on the peaceful uses of nuclear energy. In 1966, the Soviet Union and the United States, as major producers of nuclear information, proposed to the IAEA the establishment of INIS, an international nuclear information system. It was conceived as the first truly international computer-based system for the collection, processing, and dissemination of information on a decentralized basis. In 1967 and 1968, other countries volunteered the services of experts and consultants to aid in the design of an appropriate system. INIS was approved in 1969, and its aim is to serve the information needs of both developing and developed countries on a partnership basis. The first output products were issued early in 1970. About 95% of the total nuclear literature published in the world has been pledged by member states for regular submission to the system. Formerly, nuclear information was collected, announced, and disseminated by many national organizations at great expense. Consequently, effort was duplicated and announcement was delayed. In contrast to this, ENIS participants, who are usually national documentation centers, share in the costs of the system. Each national center collects, catalogs, abstracts, indexes, and submits to Innis the literature published only within its national boundaries. In return, each center receives from Vienna the totality of the world's nuclear literature references. Forty member states and eleven international organizations now regularly contribute input and benefit from the merged output which will consist of some 80,000 items per year. Every day, input is sent to Vienna. The dispatcher in the Innes section receives contributions from Innes centers in all parts of the world. These contributions consist of standardized bibliographic descriptions and indexing in English of documents containing information within the scope of the system. The material is submitted in one of three forms depending upon the individual member's capability. Most of the smaller countries input on standardized worksheets on which the bibliographic data and subject indexing is supplied in typewritten form. A number of countries furnish the data on paper tape and some having computer capability on magnetic tape.
Such contributions are always accompanied by an abstract, a brief description of the contents of the document, which is later reduced to a microfiche. In addition, IAEA receives those documents that are not commercially available, so-called non-conventional literature such as reports, theses, and patents. These two are reduced to microfiche form. All input prepared for the system must be based on standards, rules, formats, and authorities. Accordingly, a series of pertinent documents was prepared which follow wherever possible internationally accepted conventions. They are revised regularly and augmented by programmed learning or self-teaching courses and a variety of training programs offered by the IAEA to participants in order to achieve maximum consistency, compatibility, and promptness of input. At the heart of the activity is a fast and efficient computer processing operation. When a national center has submitted bibliographic descriptions of documents on magnetic tape, including subject indexing in the form of descriptors, the most modern computer methods are used to process them. Staff of the Descriptive Cataloging Unit maintain a close watch over the quality of cataloging performed by national centers and ensure maintenance of authorities such as corporate entries, journal titles, and report numbers. Staff of the Subject Control Unit, likewise, check the quality of coordinate indexing performed by the subject specialists who prepare INIS output at the various centers. The indexing language is derived from a controlled vocabulary called the INIS thesaurus, which is centrally maintained and updated in Vienna. Input from the centers received in the form of worksheets first undergoes an accuracy check. Then the information is transferred to paper tape. This paper tape prepared by the IAEA, as well as input received in paper tape form, is converted by machine to magnetic tape. All the information received from each of the INIS participants has been duly checked and is now merged onto a final magnetic tape. This tape is fed into a computer-controlled photocomposition device which places type images on photographic film. Subsequently, the film containing high-quality typography and suitable for reproduction by offset printing yields the major INIS output product called INIS Atom Index. This monthly publication, available to subscribers around the world, is a compact and powerful tool for information dissemination. It lists everything in the fields of peaceful nuclear research and applications that each member state of INIS has submitted. The magnetic tape of the printed issue of INIS Atom Index is made available free of charge for use by any member state having computer facilities. Both the printed product and magnetic tape offer scientists everywhere up-to-date information in their various specialities. Meanwhile, in the Enos Clearinghouse in Vienna, the non-conventional literature and the abstracts sent in by centers are filmed on high-quality standardized photographic film sheets called microfiche to reduce their bulk and save shelf storage and shipping costs. These microfiche are sent to subscribers all over the world and are received by them at the same time as the monthly issue of Innis Atom Index to give users a complete and timely information package. The individual scientist and engineer, wherever he may be, is now able to keep abreast of the new literature by regularly scanning Enos Atom Index to find pertinent references by broad subject classes, by personal author, by corporate entry, by report number. by specific subjects. 
With the aid of these carefully structured indexes contained in each issue and accumulated semi-annually, with generous cross-referencing, and with the presence of numerous bibliographic data elements considered essential to ready identification of a publication, the user of Innis Atom Index can quickly identify literature of interest to him. Having identified a reference of interest, the user can proceed to locate readily the corresponding abstract on microfiche made available by the Innis Clearinghouse or proceed directly to the publication itself. The scientist who has access to a computer can make use of the Innis magnetic tape for searching the literature. He formulates his question by selecting a set of descriptors from the Innis thesaurus to match his subject interest. Given these descriptors, the computer promptly identifies those references in the Innis database that had the same descriptors assigned to them by the indexers. These references are printed out or displayed on a screen in the case of a direct access online system. Computer searches may also be made on any of the bibliographic data elements in the database such as author, affiliation, title, etc. Finally, the user may proceed to examine the corresponding abstracts on microfiche to refine his search and even read the desired document itself in microfiche form if it is non-conventional literature. He can rely on this new system to cover for him all aspects of nuclear science and engineering. Innis is the first attempt to internationalize both input and management and the methods it is exploring will have considerable influence on the future of international documentation.